Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a legend. In this video I will create a legend for the sewer plan that I have created. And I want for example to show uh, small pieces of the foundation. Um, and also to show the different pipes in the legend. For example I have um, the perimeter drain placed around the building. I have the wastewater pipe. And also this pipe is uh, also a wastewater pipe, but the illustration is a bit different compared to the main wastewater pipe. And this is because this pipe is uh, casted into the concrete slab. And also I have, for example, right here, I have the rainwater pipe. So to create the legend, I will go to the project browser and scroll down to legend. Click on legends and then right click and select uh, new legend and in here you can give it a name so we'll call it legend foundation and sewer plan and I want the printed drawing to be in the scale of uh, 1 to 50 so this is okay And now if you see in the project browser, we now have a legend called uh, Foundation and Sewer Plan. And this is where we fill in the information. So if we start by uh, adding a small symbol for the foundation, we will have to go to Annotate, select Component, and then Legend Component. And then we get this small, um, this small illustration right here, and we just place it on the sheet and then uh, hit escape and when we select it again and then in the upper part we have a list of different families and if we just click here then we can scroll down and uh, on the walls we have a basic wall foundation 390 millimeters lightweight concrete blocks or thermal blocks so we can select this one and now we have a small uh, illustration, but if I select it again, then on the view, this one is set to a section, uh, but this is a plan drawing, so we will select a, a floor plan. And up here you can type in the length, and I will just type in 1000, so it will show 1 meter. And now the next step is to add some text that describes this uh, illustration. So again under Annotate, then select the text. And in Properties, um, we have some standard sizes. And uh, often we use this 2.5 millimeters um, as a description for the legend. So we'll just select 2.5 and then click out here. And start to type in a description. So we have a 390 millimeter liquor turn block. And just click on it. And you can always uh, move the text around, just select it and uh, use the move tool. Maybe you want it a little further apart from the illustration. And yeah, and it's more or less in the center of the illustration. So this is okay. And then to show the illustration for the foundation of internal walls, I will just uh, select this illustration and also the text. And now I will make a copy of it. And I will just uh, move it uh, or copy it 700 millimeters. And now I will select this illustration and then select the foundation for the internal wall. And I have the internal wall 100 millimeters lightweight concrete. This one. And I will just uh, change the text. Like this. And the next part I will just add. Um, if we just go back to the sewer plan. Now we'll add the illustration for the different pipes. So we'll start with the perimeter drain. So I'll go back to the legend. 
And again, I will just make a copy of uh, the illustration and the text. And to illustrate um, the pyramid strain, I will use the detail line. And now I have to select the right uh, line type. So I will select the drainage pipe right here. And now we can just uh, click more or less in the center of the illustration. Right here, and it's also uh, 1000 uh, millimeters in length. And now we can just select the illustration of the foundation and just delete it. And for the text, I will just um, type in a description. So we have an 80 millimeters perimeter drainage pipe. And again, I will just copy this one. Type in 700 millimeters. And I will change this pipe for the wastewater pipe. And again, I will just select the right uh, line type um, under the line styles. Like this. And again, I will change the text. So 110 millimeters uh, wastewater pipe, and I will copy the line and the text again. Move it down 700 millimeters, and now I want to uh, show the small piece of pipe that has been casted into the foundation. If I just go to the sewer plan, so now I just want to show this bit of pipe right here. So I will select the line, and then select the line that I used to uh, to illustrate the pipe, like this, and change the text. So what I have here is uh, a 32 mm wastewater pipe casted into the concrete slab. And basically I just continue um, with the different pipes and also um, I could add some text if I go back to the sewer plan. Then I can add for example the text, uh, type in FD and then uh, describe that this is the floor drain. I have, uh, the roof gully and so on. So once I'm finished, I have uh, added the different pipes and also I have a small description for the for the text on the on the drawing and also have um, a description of the terrain level and the slope of the uh, of the pipes. And I just want to show how you add the per middle sign, so if I just double click here and let me just delete it um, to add the per middle sign uh, you have to go to the start menu and in the bottom right here you type in char map and then click on it up here And then you need to scroll down to uh, find the Pamil sign. So right here it is. You just mark it. And then you can just uh, control C for copy. And then close this one. And then click in the text box and control V for paste and you can see that the size is a bit different compared to the rest of the text 
So now just select um, all of the text, Control A, and then just change or make sure that you mark at 2.5 millimeters for the text, and then click outside, and now we have the Promille sign.